um, talk about what we call the five number summary. And you know what, I'm gonna take this set of data from my last video and use that to do the example here. Um, so your five number summary um, kind of goes along with what we call a box plot or a box and whisker plot. And I'll show you how to find that after I show you how to find the five number summary. There's two ways to find the five number summary. Um, one method is to do it by hand, and then another one is the calculator trick. I'll show you by hand first. And the five number summary is a list of five numbers. You have the min, which is part of it, Q1, the first quartile, Q2, the second quartile, Q3, the uh, third quartile, and the max. This is called our five number summary. The minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, and the max. So it tells us something about the spread of data. It tells us something about, you know, what's going on. So let's do that for this case. Um, well, the minimum is the smallest number, 20, and of course it's already listed from least to greatest, so that's easy. The max is also easy, 403, right? That's the biggest number. Q1, um, we kind of already did, right? Q1 was 34. Q2, which was the median, was 57. And Q3 was 79.5. So this is my five number summary for this particular set of data. Now, um, let me create a box plot from this set of data. So a box plot is basically a graph or you know a visualization of the five number summary. It's, it's, it's on a box plot. Now the first thing I need to do is create a um, you know a scale. So I need at least a 20 and at most a 403. I probably picked big numbers here. So maybe I'll count by 50s. So 50, 100, 150, hope I have enough space, 200, 250, ooh, running out of space, 300, let me move this down. Let me move this down. And then I'll show you the box plot. You can also create a box plot um, on the graphing calculator too. <laughs> but I'll show you, I'm going to show you by hand because it's easy. Once you have a five number summary, it's easy to just create a box plot. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400. Okay, so this is, um, so I'm starting at zero here, and it'll keep going from there. So this is my scale. Now, <clears throat> the five number summary represents the five number summary, and a box plot is also known as a box and whisker graph, or box and whisker plot, because it has a box and it has what looks like whiskers. So let's start with the box. The box um, starts at Q1. Q1 is the start of your box for your box and whisker plot. Let me do it in red. So um, at 34, so approximately here. Now it's not going to be perfect, um, but I'm going to show two ways. Q1, and I like my students to write the actual number because obviously you can't see it perfectly. So this is my box, the beginning of my box. The end of my box is Q3, 79.5, which is actually not too far from there, 79.5. This is Q3. So the start of my box from a box and whisker plot and the end of my box is Q1 and Q3. So I'm gonna close my box. The middle of my box is Q2, 57. So, you know, somewhere around here. Let me uh, go here. This is Q2. and the value is 57. So this is, you're gonna see this is an interesting looking box plot because, you know, a majority is over here. Um, the whiskers go to the minimum, which is 20. So this is my whisker, goes here to 20, which is my min. And the maximum is my other whisker. So my other whisker for my box and whisker plot goes all the way, this is closer to my, um, my maximum, which is 403. So this is my <laughs> box plot for this particular set of data. I mean, you can clearly see that it does not look symmetric. It looks a bit skewed to the right, doesn't it? 
if I were to kind of draw some type of distribution. So it gives me a nice visual of the distribution of the data also with just the five number summary. And that's not too bad. Um, so let me, uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to do that on the calculator. And then we'll talk about something called outliers.